Walter Edward Brewster. And your name for who? Well, I named my two grandfathers, which was Walter was my mother's dad, and Edward was my dad's dad. Okay. And my dad's dad worked in Washington, D.C., and he passed away when my dad was seven years old. But wow, he, he when could, he was seven. Yeah, he could add three columns of figures and come up with a total. He had a real mathematic yeah. brain, didn't he? Yes. Um, what did he do in Washington? I don't know. And this would have been your great-grandfather? No, my grandfather. Grandfather. Dad's dad. Dad, okay. Your grandfather, Brewster, yeah. worked in Washington. Yes. In what department, do you know? I don't know where, you know? I don't know where he worked. I probably knew one time, if I did, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But do you know if it's the government or? Yes, it's with the government. I know In that. The go U.S. government then. Okay. Um, and um, uh, what year were you born, Ed? The same as you, 33. Glad we're out. I'm going to say I'm the oldest one here, but I guess I'm not. Well, I was born in April. When were you born? April 8th. I was born the 30th, so you're. Oh, I'm older than you than are. Me. Oh. <laughs> Um, now, what about your wife's uh, family names? Uh, I don't know too much about them. She was a Johnson. Johnson. From, from Carol. Flo from Flora. Carol Johnson from Flora. Yeah. All right. And uh, um, what other family names? Do you have any of her grandparents? Or? Uh, she's, her mother was a Snyder. A Swiner? Snyder. 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 Okay. Yeah. A lot of those around. <laughs> Arthur Terry. Yeah. I think she's up around Deer Creek at that time. Okay, Snyder Deer Creek. Court. All right. And um, uh, is there anything you'd like to tell us about her? Uh, uh, well, I had a good wife for 64 and a half years. Wow, 64 and, and a half. She just passed two and a half years ago. Yes. And I sure miss her. Oh, I'm sure oh, you do. You just don't ever get over missing them, do you? She was a runner up in the Miss America pageant. Mm -hmm. There's a first runner up in Miss America pageant. In the Miss from America? Miss, yeah, from Miss Indiana. From Miss Indiana? Yeah. So she was Miss Indiana? No, no. She was a runner up of Miss Indiana. She was in the Miss America pageant, but when the first day you had to go to the States. Oh, I she see. Was, she so was, she made it to first runner up in the Indiana. Yeah, she was Miss, Miss Logan's Indiana. Sport. Miss Logan Sport. And then she went to the <laughs> Purdue. She was, a, she was quite a singer. She could really sing well. And... Uh, she sang uh, No Other Love. She and, sang what? Uh, no Other Love. No Other Love. I think she sang that to me. We weren't oh, married. Oh, that's we why she did yet. such a beautiful job. <laughs> we weren't married yet then. So that was her talent when she competed in the Miss Indiana? Yes. Do you well, know what year that was? Uh, probably, I'd say, 52, something like that. Mm -hmm. We went together. About the year we graduated, the year after we graduated. Yeah, yeah 51. <laughs> From high school. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, we all knew Carol and loved her and know that she had a beautiful voice and she led your church choir. Yeah. Um, she. Yeah. Well, she was the head of the uh, song leader for ever since we come back in the service. I was in the Korean. I never was in Korea. I was in the okay. Korean War. Okay. Uh, tell me about that because I did not have that down as one of my questions. So you served in the army. Yes. A U.S. Army, and uh, you served in. No, during the Korean during War? During the Korean War. I was at Fort Hood, Texas. At Fort Hood, Texas. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what were your duties? Uh, I went through at uh, Fort Benjamin Harrison. Yes. As a clerk, typist, and steno. Typist and steno. Uh, but like, and then so they removed, when they moved me to Fort Hood, I was to be the steno for a bird colonel. Well, really, really a nice guy. Because I went in and told him, I said, I cannot take short hands. He said, well, you went through school for yeah. I said, sir, let me tell you how it was done. There was a, what's the college in Indianapolis? IUPUI. Well, the one that's been there forever. Marion College. I was trying to think of that. Marion? No. No, Indiana Business College. It has a big auditorium. Here? No, Butler? Butler. Butler, yes. There was a lady who had come to our place, and we had a typewriter in front of us, and she would give us a dictation. And we were to take it in shorthand, and then she would leave. And we set a big picnic tables. So, like, if I started, and I'm one of these people as a perfectionist, I didn't, I couldn't do this. Oh my! I just drew. Yes. So it didn't take me long to get behind. So then I'd hit the guy beside me, and he'd start there. 
and he hit the guy beside him, and he'd start there. Well, when she left, she was gone. We just to type it up, lay it back on her desk. So we just all get together, put in what part we had, and and the, the colonel was tickled. He he said, "Well, what do you want to do?" And I said, "I'd like to go back to Indianapolis to uh, the finance school." And uh, he said, "Okay, we'll do it." So the jeep come picked me up, took me down to some place, and two warrant officers were there. And oh, they got on me about right. They said, "Hey, you've been through three schools now: basic training, clerk, typist, and steno, and you haven't got. You're only here for two years." So we can't send you back to another school. So they sent me down to a, a typing pool. And I was a good typist. And uh, it was all ladies, except the major who was ahead of it. But there's, there's a lady, and the older lady to come, she says, I'm not going to have you type. I said, I can type, fine. She says, yeah, but you don't get paid like they do. Oh. <laughs> so you don't have to type. You, so I wheeled myself from desk to desk and proofread what they type. Oh, mm -hmm. So I had a good job. Yes, you did. I liked yes, you did. And then Carol, so, Carol came down. Her dad brought our car and her down. We so got, you've kind of done office work all of your life, haven't you? Yeah. Because yeah. then when you uh, started in your business, that's a lot of yeah. office well, work. Well, I went through a, a school at North Manchester. I was wanting to be an ad, uh, CAP, CPA. 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 So you're a C yeah. licensed CPA. Yeah, I didn't want nothing to do with insurance. Because I thought that killed my dad at 58 years old. He worried so much about everybody not being satisfied with a claim. Well, and just worried me. Walk the floor at night and I'd say, really? Mother, why was dad up last night? Well, somebody wasn't satisfied with their claim. I didn't want nothing to do with that. But then he had a heart attack when I had two months to go into service yet. Mother called and wanted me to take uh, that. My grandfather was a state representative and Cape Hart and Jenner. Do you ever remember those names? Mm -hmm. They were the two senators. And he was very well acquainted with them. So he could say, I can get you out right away on a dependency release. Well, because, uh, I said, no, I only got two months. I don't want to do that. Because then I had to stay in the service until I was 35. Not stay in, I was eligible to be recalled right. until 35 years old. So you stayed in, in the extra two in months? In case they, uh, no, I didn't stay. Oh. Mother called back a second time. She was in tears. Oh. She says, you got to help us. We can just unlock the door. That's all we know. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I said, okay. About 10 minutes, a jeep pulled up with a red cross, got me in, took me down. I mean, I was out of there like that. Because he just called, Grandpa called Kay Park and Jenner, and they got me out real quick. So you stepped out of the Army one day and into that insurance office, yeah. well, not that building, but the uh, insurance. Off on the corner, where, it's, um, where the beauty shop is now. Or, on the corner of yeah. the, the highway and 7th yeah. Street? Oh, sure. in fact, That's that, where the Brewster the, Insurance yeah. was. Okay. That's tore down now. That yeah, yeah, it was right. kind of a round front. Right. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so you stepped right into the insurance business yeah. and been in it ever I since. I didn't want nothing to do with it, but I was there, and I was there with 50, 50 years. Yes, 50 and, uh, years. I really, really enjoyed it. I, I'm not a speaker in front of a group of people, but I love to deal with people individually. Yeah, and I, when I that's a big through, part of it. Go out to renew farms or something, I could set the man wife down at the table. I just, I really love that. We like to know we can trust our insurance. And I've met a lot of wonderful people. <laughs> yes, I'll uh, bet you you know everybody in town probably. Um, now, what school, uh, you've told us about you um, attended Manchester and Butler. No, uh, no, just Manchester. Oh, okay. That's the Steno uh, came from Butler. Okay. That instructor that had the uh, for the first, she came from Butler. Right? Yeah. She was um, and so, where did you go to grade school and high school? Uh, Burlington. Where did Burlington. You and you graduated from Burlington. Graduated from Burlington. Because they were high still school. there then. Okay. Um, do you what our memories do you have about the school? Do you remember when it was built or when they added on or? No, <laughs> they uh, they added the gymnasium on. Okay. But that was before I even remember that. Was that upstairs? No, that no, was downstairs. No, it was downstairs. It was on the north end. Okay. And there was a really, really nice gym. Okay, a gym on, on the, the north end. On the gyms I played in, like at Deer Creek or a place like that, yeah. was hit by a wood burning stove and just a hole in the wall. Cutler wasn't very big either. Do you, you remember Cutler's probably down? And uh, a gym, they had a nice gym, a big stage on the front of it. Okay. And, uh, um, did they do plays on the stage? Yeah, yeah. We had, High school yeah. kids did play. Yeah. Um, now, um, did you play basketball? Yes. At um, Now, I understand that, see, so you were a polar bear, huh? 
the polar cup. Polar cup. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, how how old were polar cups? You don't become I don't polar bear. You were, mean in, all through high school you it, were still this oh, yes, polar cup? Yes, yes. As far as I know, they were from the river at the right. beginning. Okay. Now I've heard the story that at one time, this is probably before the gym was built with the school, that the gym was above. Well, that's what I'm just going to say. Before they built the gym on, the gym was above uh, the... Uh, where the dinner bell. Dinner bell is Where the today. dock is yeah. today. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know Dad told me one time that uh, Russell, Dale Rodkey, got his eye put out in a game. Somebody really? punched him in the eye and he was blind in one eye from that. But Dad played that From time. a basketball game. Mm -hmm. Well, um... Now, um, the story I heard about that was when it was still above the uh, where the restaurant is, or was, no, it is today. The, the first team, one of the teams you played was the Logansport team, and when they came, there was no heat in that gym. And it was so cold that one of the Logansport players said to another one, who are we playing here tonight, the Polar Bears? And that's how you got the name Polar our, Cup. Now, I that's... Never a story. Out. Has anyone else heard that story? I've never. Heard I, I can't remember who told me. It was some old story. blue guy. Pardon? <laughs> That's cute story. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, that'd be a good way to yeah. get your name if yeah. it was that cold. Um, okay, so you all went all through um, uh, Burlington and graduated from. What was a Burlington graduation like? Uh, we had a class. Was it in the gym? Yes. Mm -hmm. We had a class of nine. You had nine in your class. Nine. Okay. The, the only other class that was smaller than ours was the first graduating class was five. Well. And uh, Joe Patty and Howard Moore. And, okay. Uh, all of us, we still do it. I seen Howard do it just a while back. We, he, he introduced me to somebody and he said, uh, Ed and I were in the top ten of our class. <laughs> you, you were. Yeah, there were only nine of you. I didn't always tell them well, it was just nine. So but Joe Patty loved to use that. Yeah, the top ten. Yeah, we had uh, five boys and four girls. Yeah. Well, we ought to get you and Joe and Howard together sometime. And, um, we'd never get a word in edgewise, but I'm, I'm sure yeah. we would enjoy what we hear. Yeah, you Joe, you never would get that. Yeah, word. right. <laughs> um, now, you uh, what kind of what family properties did you own in the area? Are you mean my family? Oh, I, I, one question I forgot to ask you. When, when your family first moved to Burlington, where did they move from, you know, the Brewsters? The first place I remember, that when I was born, I was born up at my grandpa's house in Urban Township. Urban Township. I wasn't born okay. in the hospital, I was born up there. But at that time, my folks lived where Becky Adams lives, now right across from me.